Hey guys, in this video, I just want to tune you into some things that you may be tr not tracking in the world of data science and robotics that are just incredible leaps in technology. I'm only getting this information from some groups that I'm in on X, and you can follow me there. I share this stuff all the time. The video that you got here is from Chester. He's showing a really cool computer vision model for drones where he's able to pick up labels extremely real time and feed those in. Uh, from his drone camera and what's really cool about this is you know if you've ever played with Raspberry Pi or any of these other sensors Cameras are extremely cheap and accessible. I just picked one up for I think the sensor itself was like 40 bucks and <clears throat> You know the Python code to run these computer vision models It's not that much. It's not that complicated and with tools like chat GPT Claude deep seek whatever you're running you can pretty much get and build very easily without even being that proficient of a coder a computer vision model like this <clears throat> and what does this mean this means that robots and other different types of devices are going to be able to observe your environment <clears throat> not necessarily your house but observe any environment as I'm going to talk to you here in a second on uh, an agriculture side and be able to do really 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 complex tasks and with the LLMs, they're going to be able to make decisions, and that's where things get really, really crazy. That leads me to this next post. I wanted to show this one. So this, I'll make this a little bigger. A little bit bigger. So this is actually of a uh, berry picking robot, where it's able to go through and actually see and identify the ripe berries, and then load them into a tray. And what they're able to do with this is just stack in a couple different crates of the berry trays. And this goes through the fields and it picks all the right berries on these little tracks. Now, I think pretty strongly that there's gonna be like wheels and, and other things that are more like off-road to where it could go around in kind of any agricultural setting and go identify multiple different types of crops with the same type of setup, you know, and go in and do what it needs to do. And that decision-making process with the computer vision, it's really, really small decisions that it's making. It's saying, okay, this isn't a right berry, so I'm not going to pick it. This is a right berry, so I am going to pick it. But it could get a lot more complex. And if you give something like this, off-road tires for example and it could go around your farm in a bunch of different places and it can sense uh, the moisture and the nitrogen and the phosphorus levels and all these different other uh, the humidity level and the temperature and then it can scan your crops in a variety of different ways it's going to be able to make more robust decisions because you see a machine of the size it's you know we're talking about a raspberry pi it's like this big and if you could fit a computer of that size, it could run an LLM that could be tuned specifically for agriculture. That's its key purpose. It could do a lot more decision making. It could crunch a lot more data. And it could even, I mean, it could do way more complex, complex tasks and even multiple tasks that expand way past this berry picking bot. So we're really right on the edge of having systems that can really help us produce food at a scale where we're probably not used to definitely without you know humans having to go through it and pick every single little berry so i think that's really a big one another really interesting post here from igor beaver so he's showing a uh a process for using robotic arms for gadget assembly this is really worth reading i'll put these posts in the description of the video here but what they're doing is they're teaching the human they're, they're teaching with the human action the uh, the way that the robot needs to move to do these complex little assembly tasks. And what, what they're doing is they're driving with an arm the robot arm itself, which then teaches it to go through and do all of the little motions needed to set everything correct. And I've also seen, and maybe this has it, plugged into the robot arms, but they'll actually put a camera on that as well. And then the computer vision can aid in assisting the robot arms into making decisions whenever things are a little bit weird or off. And I think that is part of what's going on here. 
The crazy thing about this is that these robot arm kits that they have are only like, from what I understand, $200 a piece. I saw one of these priced out with all the parts. And you can order a kit like this and assemble one of these robot arms yourself. And then if you hook it up to a computer that has code running on it, you can say, hey, here's your job. Your job is to assemble um, whatever the process is. Take your pick. And with, you know, little 3D printed parts, you know, about $400, you've got a worker that can go through and assemble until it breaks. And this is how you can really advance manufacturing to a crazy level. And, you know, this is not a, um, like, trivial task. This is not something non-complex. It's assembling computer chips, right? But, you know, the human, human arms, right? They constructed and, and, and said, hey, here's every bit of the process that you need to do. And, you know, this can lead to where you could do things with robotics that exceed the current level of complexity today. Because a lot of robotics, they're maybe doing uh, one or two processes and they just, the robot arms just does those two processes. But you could get into a situation where you maybe have like 20 different types of assemblies that you need to conduct and the robot arm is capable of of identifying and maybe even building its own process with an LLM that's specifically tuned for constructing and, and understanding how these things go together. It has a set of instructions of like, hey, I need these parts configured this way. It's like, okay, cool. And it goes through and it looks at those looks at those parts and, and decides how to do that. So there's a lot of really, really insane stuff here happening. And I just thought this was a really cool uh, sample of some of the really neat things that I'm seeing. So definitely check out all this post from all these uh, amazing accounts on X. I just think there's, there's a really great highlight of some really neat things to come and I just thought I'd share it with you guys. So if you like this stuff, definitely subscribe, like this video. Thanks so much for watching and have a good one.